What's going on everyone? This is Justin with Audio Experience and we are in the process of getting these the acoustic Super Bass Extreme Ultras mounted on the wall. So there's a couple things that we want to be able to have on hand in order to get this process done the correct way. I would highly recommend a laser level. This will make life so much easier. Uh, if you don't have that, no big deal. You could still uh, go without it. You will also need to have a uh, means of getting the screws into the wall. Uh, I would recommend also getting wall anchors. So this is the uh, drywall uh, easy anchor kit. There's the uh, information on that. I'd recommend mounting them equidistant between the floor and the ceiling. What you want to do is take the gauge as it's shown here and you want to utilize it in a fashion to mark your holes. So as you can see here, put this against the wall with the long way into the corner, put the J profile up against the little notch and then mark your spot. Now, in my case, my total height floor to ceiling is 83 and a half inches. Each panel, I'm doing two, so each panel is 23 and a half inches. So that's 47 total inches. So that means I have an 18 and a quarter space from the top of the panel to the ceiling and the bottom of the uh, panel closest to the floor to the actual floor. So we need, uh, if we look at uh, the back over here, this is where the J profile will mount on the actual uh, Super Base Extreme Ultra. I probably shouldn't have touched it. It was chilling there for all the time. Okay, so if you measure from this hole here to the top, then that is an exact seven eighths of an inch. So basically what we want is we want our pilot hole to be seven eighth inch below the 18 and a quarter inch gap. And again, this is the measurements for me. So I'm just explaining you know, how I calculated it. So you can go ahead and uh, do the same for your situation as well. So basically over here, uh, I have the measurement of the spot is 18 and a quarter from the ceiling is here and then the seventh eight seven eighth inch is here so so we want to put this against the wall here we want to put the that right there and then we basically mark our holes here so again this is going to be 18 and a quarter inches off of the ceiling plus another seven eighths so we're basically at 19 and 1 eighth, which is exactly where we want it. Next thing we want to do is make sure that we have the second panel mounted in the correct spot. So as you could see, uh, we need to provide a proper space between the top and the bottom panel. So again, we're going to be referencing our gauge. So we use that once we have our first one drilled then we, you know, of course, test fit it, but put the gauge between, you know, from the bottom of the first J profile, that will provide the proper gap so that when you mount both panels, one on top of the next, it's going to be a flush fit with no gaps. So that's exactly what we want to do. So basically we're lining up the holes on the J profile with the laser line. So that's going to be our mark. So we're just going to mark that. And again, if you don't have the laser level, all you need to do is just use your tape measure and you make sure that you have the same distance from the ceiling to the center hole on the gauge. So again, in this case, we are talking about 19, uh, but between 19 and one eighth and one 19 and a quarter, that's about where we're at. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect because you're going to have the, uh, the screw itself is going to be larger than an eighth of an inch anyway. So that is, we have our spots lined up here. So everything is even. And, uh, and again, the measurement, we're going to double check, measure twice, cut once as they say. So we have our 
spot there with our, our lines marked out. And same thing over here. Boom. Good to go. If you guys have any other questions about anything acoustic, definitely get in contact with us. Happy to help you get your audio room or home theater outfitted for the proper treatment. I can't tell you how much of a difference having the uh, proper treatment makes when it comes to lowering the noise floor of the room, extracting uh, all the detail from the wonderful components of your system. But the better the treatment of the room, uh, the better everything will sound. So thank you, uh, everyone, for tuning into the video. I'm Justin with Audio Experience, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Definitely subscribe if you enjoyed this. Give the video a comment, a like, share your thoughts. We'd love to uh, interact with you guys and girls who are checking it out. And until next time, it's all about the experience, guys. Cheers. Cheers.